were known to the Harappans nearly 10,000 years ago. References to weaving are found in early Vedic literature. Various techniques of weaving, designing and needlework have survived through the centuries. Before the introduction of mechanized means of fabric making in the early 19th century, all Indian cotton and silks were hand spun and hand woven. Today, the Indian textile industry is on the crossroads. By 2005, the quota system will be completely phased out and the industry will have to face very stiff competition from the international textile producing countries. There is therefore an urgent need to upgrade technology, improve quality and reduce costs. As it is, India has entered the global fashion market our garment designers are making waves in fashion capitals around the world. Realizing the fact that the textile industry needs constant upgradation, research associations were established at major textile manufacturing centers with the active participation of the government and industry. Northern India Textile Research Association, MITRA, is the latest addition to the chain of textile research institutes in the country. Set up in the year 1975 in a vast 50-acre area jointly by the government and industry to conduct and promote technical research, MITRA supports the textile and allied sectors. Its aim includes bridging the gap between industry and technology. Besides, it serves eight decentralized power loom clusters situated at Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan. Mitra has 11 divisions, chemical technology, engineering and instrumentation, environmental engineering, human resource development, mechanical processing spinning, mechanical processing weaving, knitting and garments, operation research, physics and quality evaluation, polymer and technical textiles, research and development, software development center. Each of these divisions is manned by highly qualified and experienced scientists and technocrats representing disciplines like textile technology, textile chemistry, mechanical, chemical, electrical, electronic, instrumentation, software engineering and environmental sciences. Basically, Nitra is trying to help this uh, textile and garment industry to see that it can face the challenges which is going to come up from January 1st, 2005. One, in terms of uh, optimizing the available resources with uh, the industry. Second is to improve the quality and also to produce at uh, minimum cost or optimal cost. Plus, also, we have in the process of developing new kind of products for different kind of end users. All these factors uh, are essential today if Indian textile industry has to survive. We have a big team of uh, researchers both uh, in textiles and non-textiles like we have hardcore textile technologies, textile chemists, then we have electrical engineers, electronic engineers, mechanical engineers, software engineers, environmental chemists. So this is a unique uh, blend of uh, people coming from different disciplines. So we are basically here to cater to the demands of the textile industry. Research and development is the main focus area of NITRA. One such area where much research and development work has been undertaken is the cultivation of organic and colored cotton. As the world is today highly concerned with environmental hazards and excessive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides 
in the cultivation of cotton, Nitra is cultivating organic cotton crops using manure and natural pesticides like neem oil. A truly remarkable achievement of Nitra is the successful cultivation of brown and green cotton which needs no coloring, no dyeing. We have cultivated two types of variety, naturally green and naturally brown color. Now both co cotton we have cultivated over here and successfully implemented in making different types of product that is kids wear, toys and other types of garments. Since organic cotton is cultivated with the aid of manure, it is considered to be 100% non-carcinogenic and safe for children's tender skin. With regard to the research and development, Nitra's approach is to undertake such projects which have potential for commercial application. The information collected and knowledge gained as such is passed on to the industry for commercial exploitation. Apart from design and development of indigenous low-cost machines, Nitra has developed many new products to meet emerging needs of the industry. Before a finished product is produced, fiber undergoes many mechanical and chemical processes. Nitra has a full-fledged pilot plant where model machines are available for spinning and weaving operations. Though these facilities on a large scale are available with the textile mills, it is difficult for the mills to conduct product development and process optimization activities on the machines as the same are engaged in regular production. As such, Nitra provides those facilities to the valued members for their use as and when required. For this purpose, Nitra has acquired the latest machines like the DREF-3 machine. Uh, this particular DREF-3 machine is the latest spinning machine based on the friction spinning technology. Basically in this particular machine, we are able to produce three different components, yarn from three different components. One is the synthetic components which is coming from the bottom, other one is the, this blue component which is coming from the black which is coming to the core of the fiber and the third one is the white material which is covering the material. So basically it is a core spun yarn, the core component is going inside and is covered by a different component. So where it can produce, it can produce a different kind of yarn you can see here, the surface is covered by this uh, particular element and it is uh, inside the material is the blue material. So you can uh, get a, a core spun yarn. Of late, man-made fibers like rayon, polyester, nylon, acrylic and polypropylene have supplemented the natural fibers. With the increasing importance of polymer science in the application of high-performance textiles, Mitra established a full-fledged polymer division. This division conducts research to cater to the needs of the textile industry, producing fabrics used by the automobile industry heavy engineering and chemical industries. The division has facilities to conduct routine tests as per national and international standards for polymers, laminated fabrics, protective clothing, plastic, rubber and leather. These tests are carried out both for private and governmental agencies. As highly sophisticated and costly machines are not generally available with the mills, the centralized facility created at Nitra is a boon to the textile industry. Besides testing facilities, Nitra is also providing need-based technical services to textile processing houses to attend to their specific problems. Nitra also provides testing services to evaluate the quality of dyed, printed and finished fabrics. The 
testing facilities such as the color fastness to light, domestic washing, fastness to weathering, rubbing and perspiration are carried out as per the national and international standards. Nitra is also equipped with the latest techniques to cater to the needs of high performance textiles that are resistant to flame and recommended for children's wear and household textiles. Another major area where Nitra caters to the industry is in developing new types of shades, shade matching, optimizing the dyeing process and quality assessment of various kinds of dyes and chemicals. The principal activity of the Physical Quality Evaluation Division is testing of fiber, yarn and fabric for various physical parameters. The division has state-of-the-art facilities for the testing work. High volume instrument is the most sophisticated instrument for testing the cotton fiber quality. This instrument can test a sample within five minutes against two to three hours required by the conventional method. The analysis of various types of defects in the fabric are done with the help of highly sophisticated instruments and accordingly remedies are provided. Ooster Classimate is another sophisticated instrument which measures seldom occurring yarn faults. This kind of advanced testing facility is essential to ensure the quality requirement for the international market. NITRA is uh, right now concentrating on manpower development, product diversification and also on cost minimization. These are the three areas where uh, we need to focus so that we will be able to face the global competition which we are going to face uh, from 2005 onwards. Uh, from in this direction, we are uh, giving a large number of training programs, both uh, on the shop floor and off the shop floor also, for people who are working. Plus, we are also attracting people who are fresh graduates and trying to give them job oriented uh, professional training programs starting say two months to six months and uh, so that uh, they can get easily absorbed by the industry. So that way we are helping the industry to get the uh, desired uh, manpower because we have all the necessary infrastructures to cater to this kind of things. This is something different from any of the education institutes because they don't have this kind of facilities what NITRA has. Amongst all resources the human resource has always been of the greatest importance. In the present industrial scenario, the requirements of the textile industry demand a keen awareness amongst manpower about the latest advances in technology. To meet current and emerging needs, various training packages are offered by different divisions of MITRA. These packages are offered in the shape of in-plant training programs, institutional training programs, workshop and seminars. Even young trainees and fresh graduates from various institutions and universities are imparted practical training in designing and garment manufacturing. 
Mitra also organizes short-term courses and full-time job-oriented professional programs. The Computer Aided Design Center, CAD for short, develops designs for small and medium scale industrial units. The CAD Center gives practical exposure to the young aspirants having a flair for designing. These training programs help the industry to pick up talented manpower. The CAD Center also helps the small and medium scale industry in card punching at a nominal price to produce jacquard designs. The Mitra Library is the modal center for collection, compilation and dissemination of the latest technology to the industry. The library also has the facilities to cater to the needs of the students from various academic institutes under the Center for Academic Partnership Program. Mitra publishes research findings in the form of project reports, proceedings of seminars, conferences, and modules for training programs, both in hard and soft copies. Technical Consultancy is another major aspect of Mitra's multifarious activities. It provides assistance in the form of quality and cost-effective consultancy to its valued clients in resolving their operational problems. More than 400 energy audits have been successfully undertaken by Mitra so far in textile and non-textile sectors. We are taking the maximum use of Mitra is uh, in consultancy works like uh, energy audit, energy safety, and uh, and uh, water uh, ETP and uh, reusing of water, which is a need of ours today. That uh, we have to preserve our natural resources as far as possible. And water is ground water is uh, one of the major problem today. And Mitra is doing today excellent work in the field of uh, conservation of water. And uh, the monetary benefit part is concerned. Uh, we are taking maximum benefit from the their uh, energy programs energy saving programs. We at TT Group find Mitra very useful for testing services. We have been using their testing services for more than last 12 years. Testing of fiber properties, yarn properties, fabric properties, dyeing fastness and other tests which are required from day to day. We all get from Mitra done. Their testing services are excellent, they are reliable and fast. Many units which are located around Nitra in Noida, Ghazibad, Okhla, they can easily make use of these facilities uh, which would help them in improving quality, maintaining quality and in implementing ISO standards and making their customers happy. The textile industry the world over is not only a heavy user of water, but also one of the major polluters. To combat this, Mitra has developed a unique effluent treatment and water recovery plant which is less capital intensive. The outstanding feature of this treatment plant is its low operating cost and low sludge generation. The plant shows segregation and collection of discharged effluent streams into the respective equalization tanks, specially designed for reduction of pollution without incurring additional costs. The scheme has been successfully tested and implemented in the industries where more than 50% water is being recycled. With worldwide awareness about the importance of ecology, the parameters set forth by the industrialized world necessitates our meeting those standards. As developing these facilities individually for the textiles units would be prohibitive, Mitra created a centralized facility to meet the current requirements for eco-testing and eco-labeling.
Research is never a one-man show. It is a free flow of scientific thoughts among the researchers. Heads of different divisions and senior technical personnel have frequent meetings wherein a free exchange of views takes place. Such meetings are usually planned meets where future strategies are worked out and decisions taken on new projects. At NITRA it is not all work and no play. NITRA also ensures physical fitness and mental agility amongst the NITRA family. Meeting of the Governing Council of Nitra is a regular feature in which the representatives of the government agencies and the textile industry jointly chart out the programs and policies of Nitra. Nitra is the youngest resource association in India. It caters to all the industry in North India. It has a highly motivated and dedicated staff and they are highly charged and professional. Even the, the director, Dr. Rao, is very enthusiastic and the industry and it is giving a lot of benefit to the industry. It is the only research situation which has achieved ISO 9000 in a short period. NITRA ISO 9000 certified organization has rendered consultancy services to a large number of textile units who have now achieved the same distinction. We are going to promote very shortly a uh, new kind of uh, fabrics which will have ultra uh, smooth feel and a soft feel and also we are talking about uh, technical textiles. It is this area where we need to focus because India in technical textiles is not well advanced compared to other European countries and uh, even USA. So technical textiles is one area where we are doing it. The other area where we are talking about is uh, eco processing. That means you do the processing without damaging your environment, either in terms of uh, water or uh, atmosphere or air and things like that. So we are focusing on uh, all possible means of applying enzymes in our chemical processing because chemical processing is one area where uh, maximum amount of uh, effluents are discharged and uh, it's considered to be more uh, uh, unfriendly for the environment. So we are trying to prepare what is called a cocktail of enzymes which can do majority of this uh, process at room temperature without causing any damage. In shaping India's textile scenario of tomorrow, Nitra pledges to reorient the textile industry. Thank <laughs> you.